Hey, this is Jesse with Create This. Uh, today I'd like to talk about something pretty cool. Um, Edison bulbs. Probably works better in front of my hat there, huh? <laughs> anyway, but these are not just any Edison bulb. These are uh, LED Edison bulbs. And uh, let me give you a close-up of these. So these guys are super cool. They're... Uh, LEDs, and it's called, I want to say, LED on glass or chip on glass technology. So each one of these little uh, vertical bars inside of the glass here that's yellow uh, or orange or whatever color you want to call that, each one of those is a, um, an LED or maybe a series of LEDs. And this is actually dimmable. Uh, hang on, let me go get the box. Okay, so I ordered a couple of these from Amazon, and this is the key art. Um, dimmable vintage Edison LED, 600 lumen, and I think you can see that there. Um, 6 watt, 2200 Kelvin, uh, and dimmable, which is pretty cool. So I aimed, well, the, the first thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to test the, uh, the dimmability of these because I, I like I like to dim my LED bulbs. Uh, it makes them use even less power, and I don't always need them to be super bright. So this is like a, uh, it's like a 30 watt equivalent bulb, and um, yeah, they'd be really cool. And I, I plan on making some black iron pipe uh, chandelier and uh, you know just hanging fixtures. So it'd be really cool to be able to dim these down and just have them as mood lighting when we have company over or something like that. So. Um, I'm going to use two different kinds of dimmers for this, for this test that I'm going to do. All right, the first dimmer that I have here, this is a modern dimmer. This is a Lutron uh, Casita dimmer. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to pronounce it, Casita, Casetta, whatever. Um, but these are designed for LEDs and CFLs. I think they'll also do incandescence and probably tungsten and some other things. But I'm exclusively using these with LEDs and CFLs currently. Um, Currently, I use these with some 100-watt uh, equivalent uh, Philips bulbs, and I also have some 60-watt equivalent Philips bulbs and stuff like that, LED. Um, they, they tend to make LEDs buzz, unless you have like a really good LED bulb. So we're going to try this Lutron dimmer with uh, the Edison bulb and see, see what happens. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is uh, I'm just going to prove to you that the light turns on with the uh, Philips bulb installed. So four clicks and it turns on. Um, you know, you can raise it all the way up, bring it all the way down, turn it off. And four clicks and it turns on. So yeah, these uh, Casita dimmers are pretty cool. Uh, like I said, it does buzz a little bit, but oh well, no big deal. So now let's try it out with a dimmable Edison bulb. Okay, super cool stuff. Let's try the dimmable LED Edison bulb. One, two, you can see that it's coming on already. Three, four, five, six. It's pretty cool. It looks pretty neat too. Uh, now, let me show you the rest of this setup. So I have two lanterns here. Uh, one has the dimmable LED Edison bulb in it, and the other lamp has another Philips bulb in it. Now the interesting thing that I found here is that when you uh, remove the Philips bulb, the Edison bulb starts misbehaving. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're just going to 
I've got both cameras on uh, both bulbs and I'm going to display them side by side in the video. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unscrew this Phillips bulb and I'll show you side by side what happens to the uh, Edison bulb as I do that. Whoa! It starts flashing. Isn't that weird? Screw it back in. And it works again. Dim the uh, Edison bulb down. Yep, still works. But when it's flashing, I have no control over it. So I think what's happening here is I think the, uh, the Phillips bulb, these Casita dimmers are uh, programmed to recognize the voltage of, uh, you know, and the feedback that CFLs and LEDs give. So these new dimmable LED Edison bulbs must not be giving the feedback that the Casita has been programmed to recognize as a dimmable LED. So unless there is another dimmable LED in line in the circuit, it freaks out and it doesn't know what to do. So that's something to keep in mind with these things. Um, I'm going to try a couple of more bulbs from uh, different vendors and manufacturers over the next couple of weeks. And uh, we'll see if I can find one of these dimmable um, Edison style LEDs that actually works with this Casita dimmer. I'm not too hopeful that I will, but uh, you never know.